Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Please visit ComlexFlashcards.com for complete Comlex prep resources. Let's talk about infectious mononucleosis caused by Epstein-Barr virus and it's most commonly seen in the adolescents, uh, especially in college students and military recruits. It's infected uh, children experience generally milder symptoms. So the transmission is mainly through the saliva. Um, commonly the question will have a history of kissing or sharing food and most adults have been uh, infected with EBV or carriers. One infection usually confers long-term immunity and the incubation period is typically two to five weeks. What are some of the clinical features? Fever, sore throat, with malaise myalgias, weakness which can linger for several months, lymphadenopathy, that's, this is pathognomonic found in 90% of patients. There can be tonsil or cervical lymph nodes, which may be quite enlarged, pharyngeal erythema, splenomegaly present in half of patients, uh, maculopapial rash, which is present in approximately 15% of patients, um, but much higher if ampicillin is given. Also, hepatomegaly, uh, palatal petechia, and eyelid edema also occur. To make the diagnosis, you order the heterophile antibody test, which is also called the monospot test and are positive within four weeks of infection with EBV and are undetectable by six months. So a positive monospot test indicates acute infection with EBV mononucleosis. The heterophile antibodies do not form in CMV mononucleosis. That's a key point. All right, They do not form in CMV mononucleosis. Rapid heterophile tests are highly sensitive and specific, particularly in adolescents. And EBV-specific antibody testing, um, you perform them in cases in which diagnosis is straightforward and usually done by indirect immunofluorescence microscopy or by ELISA. Also understand that peripheral blood smear usually reveals lymphocytic leukocytosis with large atypical lymphocytes. And that's a key thing on the board exam you want to look for, the lymphocytic leukocytes with large atypical lymphocytes. Throat culture was performed if pharyngitis is present and to rule out a secondary infection with a beta hemolytic streptococci. Remember that the most commonly it's seen in sexually active adolescent and young adults it's characterized by fevers, chills, fatigue, headache, um, frequently with splenomegaly. And cervical lymphadenopathy and pharyngitis are usually absent and negative for heterophile antibody tests is a common scenario. So what are the complications? Hepatitis, neurological symptoms which are rare but Guillain-Barr, um, Bell's palsy, meningoencephalitis, splenic rupture is also present and as a result uh, you want to recommend avoidance of strenuous activity until the splenomegaly is resolved. Uh, there's thrombocytopenia and hemolytic anemia, upper airway obstruction due to lymphadenopathy and um, patients are generally recommended to have you know, supportive care with rests, lots of fluids, um, analgesics to reduce temperature and pharyngeal pain. Also give a short course of glucocorticoids if there's airway compromise. And glucocorticoids have been effective in patients with thrombocytopenia or hemolytic anemia. So that's a overview of infectious mononucleosis. Just remember the key test, the heterophile antibody test that you need to order. Remember it's not specific for CMV mononucleosis. Remember the atypical lymphocytes, throat culture, complications like hepatitis, neurological complications. Um, thrombocytopenia and hemolytic anemia as well as uh, managing the um, treatment which is a lot of rest and fluids, avoidance of strenuous activity until the splenomegaly resolves and analgesics to reduce temperature and pharyngeal pain along with possible use of glucocorticoids to prevent respiratory compromise. The common presentation will have palatial petechiae, maculopapular rash, um, lymphadenopathy and splenomegaly with a lot of malaise, myalgias, and weakness. Please visit Comlex Flashcards for more reviews. Good luck.